Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose R is a relation on A. Then, R is transitive if and only if R compose R is a subset of R. Before we begin this proof, I would first like to mention what it means for a relation to be transitive. If you recall, all it means is, for every three elements in A, say X, Y, and Z, if x comma y and y comma z are both elements of r, then x comma z is also an element of r. So now, let's begin the proof. Notice our theorem contains if and only if. So really, we're trying to prove that if this is true, then this is true. And if this is true, then this is true. Let's start by proving if this is true, then this is true. To do so, assume this is true. And so our whole goal now is to deduce that R compose R is a subset of R. And to do that, consider an arbitrary element of R compose R. I'll call it P comma Q. Okay, so notice we are an element of a composition. So before we go any further with this proof, I would like to review some things about compositions. Now, if you recall, in general, if we have a relation R from A to B and relation S from B to C, then we have that S compose R is a relation from A to C where we can think of B as our intermediate set. Now, for our problem, the sets S and R are equal to each other. And we're given that R is a relation on A, which is equivalent to saying that R is a subset of A times A. So then what is R compose R? Well, just like how S compose R is a relation from A to C, where B is our intermediate set, we have that R compose R is a relation from A to A, where A is our intermediate set. Okay, so then what does it mean for an ordered pair to be an element of our composition? Well, in general, when we have an ordered pair P comma Q in S compose R, what this means is we can choose an element in our intermediate set B, say M, such that P comma M is an element of R and M comma Q is an element of S. Now, putting that in the context of our problem, what does it mean to be an element of R compose R? It means that we can choose an element in our intermediate set A, say M, such that P comma M is an element of R and M comma Q is an element of R. And now, we're going to use the fact that R is transitive to deduce that P comma Q is an element of R. And to see why, first note that R is a subset of A times A. So, because P comma M is an element of R, that means P comma M is also an element of A times A. Similarly, M comma Q is an element of A times A. Therefore, we can say that P is an element of A, M is an element of A, and Q is an element of A. But because R is transitive, we know that this statement is true for every three elements in A. Therefore, it must be true for these three elements in A, P, M, and Q. So we can take this statement and replace X with P, Y with M, and Z with Q. So we have that if P comma M and M comma Q are both elements of R, then P comma Q is also an element of R. But we have that P comma M is an element of R and M comma Q is an element of R. Therefore, we can conclude that P comma Q is an element of R. Now, for the future, 
whenever you have a transitive relation R, and you have two ordered pairs like P comma M and M comma Q, both elements of R, you can think of M as your intermediate element and immediately conclude that P comma Q is also an element of R, right? You don't have to go through all the logic of deducing that P, M, and Q are all elements of A. And then since this statement is true for every three elements of A, it must be true for P, M, and Q. Therefore, if P comma M and M comma Q are both elements of R, then P comma Q is also an element of R. And since we're given that P comma M and M comma Q are both elements of R, therefore P comma Q is also an element of R. But you don't have to go through all that logic because you're going to reach the same conclusion every time. Right? So yeah. So now notice, we started with an arbitrary element of R compose R. And we showed that same element is also in R. Therefore, everything in R compose R is also in R. So we have successfully shown that if this is true, then this is true. Now we're going to show that if this is true, then this is true. To do so, assume this is true. And our whole goal now is to deduce that R is transitive, which means we're trying to prove that this statement is true. So we're trying to prove a statement about every three elements in A. So give me any three elements in A. I'll call them X, Y, and Z. And now we want to prove that if X comma Y and Y comma Z are both elements of R, then x comma z is also an element of r. So let's suppose that x comma y and y comma z are both elements of r. Now, from compositions of relations, we can think of y as our intermediate element. And so we can conclude that x comma z is an element of r compose r. But R compose R is a subset of R. So since X comma Z is an element of R compose R, that means X comma Z is also an element of R. So notice what we've shown here. We started with three arbitrary elements of A, X, Y, and Z. And we show that if X comma Y and Y comma Z are both elements of R, then X comma Z is also an element of R. Since X, Y, and Z were arbitrary, this means for every three elements x, y, and z in A, if x, comma, y, and y, comma, z are both elements of R, then x, comma, z is also an element of R. So we have proven precisely this statement, which amounts to proving that R is transitive. So now we have proven if this is true, then this is true. So we have proven both parts of the if and only if, which means this completes the proof. And so, yeah, that's pretty much the idea of how you could prove a theorem like this. And that's pretty much it for this video.